said, how long have you had your skincare on? Is it longer than an hour? If so, we're gonna take micellar water and we're gonna tap there. And I'm gonna show you about forehead lines because I definitely have those. Grab the thinnest serum that you have. Find something that's almost weightless. Now we're gonna apply this and we need at least five minutes for it to completely dry down. We need hydration here, but you want thin hydration so it doesn't crack. This is so important. You wanna work from the perimeter towards the center. This technique helps us apply less or we're gonna be more expressive. <laughs> that way, if you're using a matte formula of your foundation, you're still gonna be able to use it. We're just gonna use less here. We're still gonna use something else though. Hang on. Foundation's everywhere we need it to be except for the places that we're having the creasing. This is gonna seem so silly, but your applicator is applying too much. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it on a brush and we're gonna thin it out over the creasing. I know it seems so silly, but that step makes such a difference on how it wears where we normally crease. Now, most of you probably know this, but pressing instead of swiping is going to work it in and it's also gonna help it wear better. Last but not least, find an eyeshadow in your collection that is identical to your skin tone. Eyeshadow is a stronger pigment than loose or even pressed powder. This is a game changer. Set everywhere like this that you normally have creasing. Now you can do your brightening powder set the way you normally do. Here we are with back camera, nice and smooth. This is a technique I've done for years. It's long lasting and it's tried and true. Preset with eyeshadow, that's 